In this video, we're going to show you the process of setting up the Dynamics AX2012 system to enable importing corporate credit card transactions into the travel and expense application. In order to do this, the first thing we need to do is to register uh, what's called a TRV PBS main data uh, dot create service. So this is just one of many uh, AIF services that uh, ships out of the box with Dynamics AX2012. And in order to um, register the service, and all the services for that matter, is to go to um, you know, administration, uh, system administration, go to setup checklists, initialization checklist, and under the initialize system section or option, you can expand on that. And the last option in here is to set up the application integration framework. And this option here, one of the things it does is uh, goes ahead and registers all of the uh, TRV or all of the uh, service operations in, in Dynamics AX 2012. Again, one of those services, which is specific to our travel and expense application for importing corporate credit cards, is the TRV PBS main data um, service, and I will show you that service later on. Once you've you know, registered all the services. Uh, in order to import corporate credit cards into the system, you actually have to set up an inbound port. And you will see, you know, when you first go in here, uh, potentially a lot of different um, uh, ports already set up, some of them active, some inactive. I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new inbound port for the uh, corporate credit card import uh, that I want to be doing. And in this case, I'm going to just uh, call the port name Amex. So I'm going to just assume it's an American Express card that uh, are transactions that I'm going to be uh, importing, so corporate credit card transactions from American Express. Once you've given it a name and a description, the next thing you have to do with this inbound port is to select the service operation that you want to use. Um, and what we need to, in this case, again, is the TRV uh, PBS main data service dot create. You can go ahead and add that service to this inbound port and close that. And, uh, and then uh, the other things that you'll have, options you'll have to do, you know, there's, there's security options, there's troubleshooting options, you know, there's uh, uh, under processing options, there's all kinds of things for, you know, what to do with errors and whether to continue and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, the other thing that's interesting with our, this spe specific uh, example of importing corporate credit card transactions is this uh, transform or inbound transforms uh, option here. Uh, more often than not, you will have to use this with our corporate credit card transaction import. The reason you'll have to do this is because uh, more often than not, the corporate credit card transactions will come in uh, in, in a format that, you know, basically a AX is, is not um, familiar with or is, that, is, is cannot consume. For example, American Express, typically uh, the file that they send is a, is, an, is a flat file, and what Dynamics AX needs uh, to consume is an XML file. So outside of Dynamics AX, you would have to write a transform using you know, BizTalk or some other mapping tool to get the original file, you know, a flat file, and transform it uh, into an uh, XML file that uh, Dynamics AX can consume. So once you've created that transformation to transform the uh, flat file, you know you can go in here and you would create a new you know inbound transform, give it a name, and then here's uh, if you go to manage transforms, this is where you would load that transform or transformation uh, or transformations that you have created to uh, to do this transformation. In this case, I'm actually not going to do that. I for this video, I'm going to show you a simple example of importing a, just a an XML file that I created uh, that is in the schema that uh, AX is expecting. But uh, like I said, typically you will have to uh, create a transformation to get the file into the format that we need. And uh, when you have, that's where you tie that particular transform to the uh, inbound port that we'll be using. So once I've uh, created this uh, and I'm all happy with all the settings I have uh, put on this inbound port, I will go, I can go ahead and activate the uh, activate it. And this will take a few seconds, uh, but once it's done, uh, I'm ready to use this transform to import, import corporate credit card transactions into the travel and expense application. 
and you'll get a little message here that you know different <clears throat> service groups have started and, and so forth. So everything looks good there. And I'm going to go ahead and, and close this and go into the travel and expense application. And where you import credit card transactions in travel and expense application is under periodic credit cards. And there are a couple of options. One of them is to import from a folder. And this is the option you will use uh, when you want to import corporate credit card transactions on a recurring basis, which is typically going to be the, the, the case after you've gotten everything set up. You'll have you know, American Express or Visa or, or MasterCard or whatever um, vendor you're using um, set up a, you know, they will actually populate a folder maybe on a daily basis and then you can go ahead and set a, a batch job to go out and, and grab the, the latest file and import it on a, on a recurring basis as well. <clears throat> what I'm going to do for uh, this particular video is just show you pointing to a specific file um, just to test the uh, inbound port that I have created. Um, and I have a couple of different uh, files that I've created. I'm going to go ahead and just select one of these. And this is typically what you do to, to test uh, the inbound port that you've created and, uh, and the transform that you've created uh, when you, before you actually go live. Now, I, I only have the one uh, inbound port set up, so it automatically kind of points to that. I could have multiple inbound ports, and, and I would select which one I wanted. Uh, everything looks good here, so I'll say OK. And this will go ahead, use that inbound port to uh, inbound or to import the uh, the credit card transaction file uh, that I've created. And you can it'll give a little log here saying that uh, one record uh, imported none failed, so I'm good to go. And so that's the the process to set up the system to Im to import corporate credit card transactions into the travel and expense application. Uh, giving the employees, of course, the ability to then add those corporate credit card transactions to expense reports uh, during entry.